Okay, channel friends, today I'm finding out if I can record a whole drum kit with this spider looking gadget from Zoom, the H8. For five years or so, I've been using my Zoom Q3 for all my field recording, video audio, and some sampling as well. But sadly, it died. So after the grieving process was over, I replaced the Q3 with this, the Zoom H8. And a lot has changed since I bought the Q3. So let's check out a few of the features. Here's a quick rundown of what the Spider is capable of. It can record up to 12 tracks with applications for field recording, for music, and for podcasting. It also has a great touchscreen option for triggering your intro and outro music, or even sound effects during the show. It has six XLR inputs, two with multi-jacks, and they all have phantom power. It has an XY condenser mic with 90 or 120 degrees positions. It's also an audio interface too. Okay, so over to the drums. So my first test was to set the Zoom H8 up over the top of the drums using the XY condenser microphones. I set them to a nice wide 120 degrees and here are the results. Next, I plugged all my usual drum mics into the Zoom H8, and this is the result. Right, so the answer is a definite yes. You can record a whole drum kit with just the Zoom H8. Preamps seem to be really clean and there were no discernible uh, coloration to the sound either. Although I was recording in my usual spot right here behind the drums and it's a very dead sound in here. I do have low ceiling so it may sound a little bit muffled but I usually get and uh, EQ all that out with my uh, good old Soundcraft desk over there. But this is just the sound of my normal mics plugged straight into the Zoom H8. There's no manipulation happening here. Um, even the tools that are available inside the H8, like compression, EQ, etc. This is just the, the dry mic sound. Yeah, so final thoughts on this H8. It would actually be quite ideal to record a band demo, say in a rehearsal situation. Especially if you get the extra XLR module called the EXH8, which allows another four XLR inputs. So for instance, you could record drums, bass, two guitars. You could record keys. You could also record backing vocals and your lead vocals on this tiny one device. Holy lots of features, Batman. Thanks again for watching, channel friends. I'll see you in the next video.